Hi, friends of golfers. Welcome. My name is Eric Sorg, EJS Golf, EJSGolf.com. And um, today we're going to talk about Sportsbox AI. What is Sportsbox AI? 3D. Okay. So what we've done in the past to look at golf swings a lot is we've taken video, right? And video is 2D. Okay. So problem with that video in 2D is this, is if, if it is not recorded the exact same angle, when you're looking at two, two, two different videos, you can get a lot of different looks. Okay. So somebody may look like they're taking it really flat when they're really not because the camera angle is off from what the person expected. And when it's only off a little bit, the, the eye is not going to be able to tell just looking at it. It may just look generally good. Like a lot of students ask me, Hey, how does this look? I'm like, I don't know. You tell me it's got to be directly behind the hands, hand height or, you know, hand height and directly in front of you. But what's happened now is we have the ability now with 3D um, to, let's say, this is where it's really been big for me and for my online lessons. They'll shoot a video face on for me, right? And it doesn't even have to be at this perfect angle. I just need to get their whole body in it um, in slow-mo. They send it to me. And then out of that, I get six different views, okay? I get the um, above, below, uh, target line, so looking, you know, where you usually never get to look, where you're hitting, uh, behind, uh, face on, uh, down the line, if I said that, I'm not sure. So basically six different views and with numbers on all of it. So what I want to show you today, and I'm going to do a few of these here um, coming up uh, to just kind of highlight some of the pretty cool things about this. And, uh, you know, one of the other really neat parts about this is learning what I believe are imperatives in golf. Like, what do all the pros do? All, Okay. And you're going to find something here that is something they all do, which most AMs don't do. Okay. So let's look at this right here. So pros versus AMs here. Um, main differences are the chest. We're going to talk about the chest and pelvis sway. Okay. So that's going basically right or left. So the pro versus the AM. The AM is going to end up loading the pro sway, the chest and the pelvis back towards the target before the top of the backswing. Okay. So the AMs are still loading up. You can see it right there, 3.4, negative 3.5, while the other guy is going negative 2, the pro. So you can see the difference how still loading on the right, he's done loading, going towards the target on the left, okay? So big big differences between the two. Um, so what happens if we're continually loading on our back foot the whole time? Well, we're going to have a lot of trouble getting off of it. We're going to be dumping the club, meaning losing all our wrist angles because we won't be able to have great wrist angles coming in. And just think about the power loss. Think about if you threw a baseball and just if you stand up and just do the throwing motion right now and just try to move your chest and everything continually back with your arm. You're like, how do I do this? You'll find out that the lower body's moving forward while the arm is still going back. We separate. So we need to look at that here too and say, how do I recenter? Okay, so if you sway an inch off or an inch and a half off on the way back, you need to recenter by the top, meaning you're going to start going towards the target. So do that when you get club parallel to the ground or arm parallel on the way back, okay? Um, P2, P3 for those of you that like that. Um, but, but as far as, you know, sports box, it, like I said, it's changed what I do, especially for online students. Um, allowed me to, the students that I teach from everywhere, it allows me to give them better um, communication as to what they're doing because it's quantifiable now. So let's say we are talking about, since this one's about sway, an issue where they're swaying too much, let's say it's negative three inches. So if they send me a video or whatever, and we have it, now it's negative one and a half. Look at your progress, right? And so we can track it all the way. And one of the biggest benefits I find of it is this, is when I get videos of a golfer, if I go, if you got your swing going that day, let's get a good, let's get a video of it. Because then we have our baseline to look at, like, what was going right here? So then, you know, let's say we look at their sway is negative or, you know, one inch back. And then we're looking at another swing they have another day, and it's going a forward one inch and then going, you know, backwards. We'll be like, here, you know, you're going towards the target now. You're not going back. So another way to check things and make golfers better. Because what's number one? Making golfers better. So, guys, thank you for watching this, girls. Thank you. Um, Eric Schulberg, EJS Golf, EJSGolf.com. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave a comment uh, below if you'd like. And uh, thank you for your time.